the future of interactive media. That is from the past. Didn't quite work out that well, now did it? <laughs> you have to use your hands? <laughs> That's like a baby's toy. Uh, this game... This game gets a lot of uh, dirt thrown on it. Mainly because of this. <laughs> this gets really, really cheesy. Oh my. I hope she made lots of spaghetti. Oh my. Dear pesky plumbers, the Koopalings and I have taken over the Mushroom Kingdom. Not again. So you left a note? A permanent guest at one of my seven Koopa hotels. I dare you. So he, yeah. When? When? When did you get hotels? It's from the board game? I, yeah, I know, really. When did this come out? Uh, 1994. Um... That's a great face, Mario. <laughs> so this came out after Mario 3? After Mario World. Mario World oh, came out in 1991. Yeah, it sure did. Wow. Originally... Backslide. Uh, originally, this was going to be a sequel to Super Mario World called Super Mario's Wacky Worlds. And, um... <laughs> Um, what? Why did he need a boost if he could jump that high? Uh, uh, so here in the game room, <laughs> we're going to be playing this, correct? Yes. The whole point of the game is that you're, it's arcade style. Oh, I keep forgetting it's backwards. The jump what? is opposite to what you grew up with. <laughs> so, so you jump with A? So, yeah, it's, it's, it's fun. Who does that? Button two closes the doors, and button one makes you jump. So it's counterintuitive to what you're what you're used to. So you have to shut the doors. Yeah, that's the whole point of every level is to shut all the doors. Somehow that kills every enemy on screen. <laughs> so this is someone's hotel you're a guest in. Yeah, the, yeah, it's it's all the Koopa kids. And you're shutting doors for them. Mm -hmm. Are you helping them or helping you? You're helping you. This is how, this is how you destroy them. So they want the doors open. Yeah, they want the doors open. Get in the door. And the thing about the elevators is that in order to get inside them, shit, yeah, jumping is kind of wonky. It's not not as what you expect. But you have to press up to get inside, and then you have to press down to get out. What? Yeah. So if you press up, you're not going to go anywhere if you're trying to get out. Yeah. So you're pressing up right now. But Nothing. the thing is, you can also hide in the doors, like I'm doing right now, so you can he'll go by you. Huh. So there's a, there is a bit of strategy, but then you have, you have to hit down to get out and then press press 2 oh. to close it. So here's what I'm noticing. Shit! Wait. I went out too soon. Okay, so <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm noticing when you come back. Okay. <laughs> what I'm noticing is that Mario can jump. Yes. He literally gets enough height to just jump up to the next floor. Pretty much, yeah. He's right there. <laughs> so why use the elevators? Reasons. And, and well, and the thing is too is that I'm, I don't want to demonstrate because I don't want to die again. But see, I can get this coin. Yeah. I could run into the enemy as well up there. The enemies the one that's above on the you. The floor above you. Yeah, the enemies above you can kill you. This is a cockamamie game. Yes, especially when you get into situations like this where you gotta wait for him to move. Yeah, and I wanted to jump with two. You could have just gotten the elevator and waited. No, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> but I wanted... Uh, so this is an easy game, a hard game? It is. It's an easy game for a while once you get used to the controls. Because it's been ingrained in me since I was a kid to, you know, jump with two. But no. It's jumping with one. Hmm. So... Because like I just jumped with two and I can't. <laughs> now are the coins just because, or do you get um, an extra life when you get a hundred like an? No, you, you get a you get an extra life when you hit fifty. Uh, yeah. Fifty. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, get out. Um, uh, finally, I beat. Oh, look at this happening. <laughs> um, the uh, what was I gonna say? Um. I just blanked on what I was going to say. I was going to say something informative. About uh, the coins? No. Um, 
There's actually a rainbow coin. I forget what that does. Uh, uh <laughs> looks like it kills you from what I saw. <laughs> no, the rainbow coin it adds more. Oh, oh, going inside the doors. Um, there, there are a couple of doors that have uh, secret pipes in them. I don't know any off the top of my head here. Got a mushroom. Uh, oh, so I thought that was a toad. No, <laughs> it's a bouncing mushroom. Um, now I get an extra hit, and as you can see, I'm glowing. So... <laughs> so you're Rainbow Mario. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Are you fabulous? But if I get the... The Fire Flower isn't, is only gonna... Oh, <clears throat> Is only going to appear after you've gotten the mushroom, so you have to wait for that. And then the thing is, it's, it's good thing I have this controller that I have right now. This I like to call it the um, Genesis knockoff because it basically is a Genesis. Um, but uh, when you're using the standard spoon controller that originally came with the system that I got, at least um, there's only two buttons. Uh huh. This one. It, it, well, because in order to use the Fire Flower with that controller, you have to hit both buttons at the same time. Okay. And so you can end up jumping when you mean to throw a fireball. This one, the third button, see, there's the rainbow coin. The third button actually acts as you're throwing the uh, fireball. Well, this kind of answered the question I was going to ask you is, um, since you have your glow pants on, was that going to carry to the next level? Yeah, luckily it does. Um, I think I know the, the existence of one specific um, warp pipe, if I can remember where it's at. I don't think it's in this level. Um, and then there's also a level where the lights keep flickering, and you have the, the, uh, it, it ruins your vision. And to figure it out, you go in one of the doors, and it's the stupidest reason why the lights in the place are flickering. Spoilers! <laughs> if, I, if I get to it, I'll show you. There well, we go. <laughs> As opposed to getting to it and turning the game off. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you know, like, for all the shit this game gets, it's really not bad once you get used to the backward controls. I like his happy dance where he's just, like, pointing at his shoes with his fists. <laughs> but, like, just, just objectively speaking, it's really not that bad of a game. It really isn't. It's, n it's nowhere near, you know, Super Mario World levels, obviously. Um, but... At least it's a somewhat creative arcade style game. The, yeah, I can see that. The cutscenes are shit, no doubt. <laughs> well, we've only seen the one, so. <laughs> Two. There was the, the one before this level and the one that was at the intro. True. Sorry, apparently I can't math. <laughs> but, uh, see, I'm a little trapped right and I'll wait. That's the problem with having the enemies above you hurt you, it makes no sense. It just raises the difficulty yeah, for to insane. To arbitrary levels. <laughs> Not because it makes it any harder, but because it makes it more annoying. I like the fact that the coins are so freaking bouncy. Yeah. Like, coins tend to roll in reality, but these are just go boing, 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 boing. boing. So they must be made out of pure gold, because that's your gold's pretty soft. Okay, where they could be magic. That too. Magic is also <laughs> very bouncy. You'll find... <laughs> Ugh, it takes forever to get to freaking the bosses. And they're actually the Koopa Kids. Man, how many times have we seen the Koopa Kids? Ah, crap, there's the flower. Give it. There we go. Haha! -ha. Makes it so much <laughs> easier because now you don't have to jump. We'll just wait for them to pass by. Okay, and there we go. nifty. So now you're glowing and you got fire. Yep. So you're just lit up. Like Vegas. Ooh, Vegas. Everybody likes Vegas. What I, uh, what the one challenge though that I do appreciate in this is that sometimes uh, enemies will come out out of doors that you close, so that so it, they open it and go out of it. The, well, the, yeah, they'll because uh, like do a, they close it behind them? No, they obviously no. <laughs> <laughs> There's a challenge. I was just gonna say I feel like the fire flower takes away. Oh, I love the fire flower in this game, and it, it makes it so much easier so you don't have to jump. Yeah. But, um, let me see here. And then the, what is it, the Wigglers. You can only jump- Oh, they look so happy in this game! Shit. <laughs> you can only jump on their head. Yeah, if you hit they it. get angry. No, it's not, not, not in this game. You hit any part of their body other than their head, you die. 
Shit, I ran into them. But they're so heavy. There we go, I got it back. <laughs> they're just so happy to be another fire floor. Ah! Damn it! Buttons. Ah, oh, I wasted it. I keep forgetting. I like that these turtles at least look like turtles. Yeah. Like they have the facial structure of a turtle. Crap. Come on. So you gotta hit their head. Oh, you decapitate them. Okay. And then Ooh. their head grows back. <laughs> it's just really annoying. I, you gotta hit their head. Huh. There we go. How come their head didn't come back? It's just a head and legs. I don't know. And another one came back. Let me get this one up here. Up. Okay. D and d ah, crap! So this Lost is the going to essentially be the game. Yeah, this is just the entire with game. Differing enemies and backgrounds. Ah, found a pipe. Sweet. Oh, another cutscene. Meanwhile, Luigi's just hanging out outside. <laughs> yeah. Where am I? Larry. You're it, Larry. Yeah. <laughs> Larry. I'm <it>, Larry. <laughs> Which one is he? Is he the one with the flickering lights? So did oh, it just, no, this is the ice level. Okay. Did it just fast forward you to a boss fight, or did you just skip one of the Koopa Kids? I skipped one or two of the Koopa Kids. So now you've got to go down instead of up? Yeah. Uh, stage three. Okay, so I skipped stage two. Nice. Out and jump. Okay. Now there are fridges, and now there's like slickness. There's ice. So and now you're not doing elevators, you're doing refrigerators? Yeah, well, you know, I'm still going into elevators, but I'm closing refrigerators instead oh, of closing regular okay. doors. And it, oh, okay. But the ice does kind of irk me a little bit. It doesn't stop you exactly. <laughs> Well, but you can close it as you slide past it. So, but the uh, the what's it called? The the elevators are a little bit harder to read. And now you see I'm at a different level. I thought it would be up at the the one right above me, but yeah. now I gotta go down one to go up one, I think, or something. <laughs> so it's got a little bit of a puzzle element. That's yeah. nice. I can appreciate that. Yeah, there, there, there's some creativity that went into it. It's just that the program ah crap, the programming itself wasn't that good. Um, but I don't know, funny little hidden gems I like about it. Yeah, it, it's it's got its charms. It's just, uh, I like that the turtles are wearing diapers. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. Um, I think I'm done though. I think we've seen all. One we need go to around, see. enough for you. Yeah, it gets a little monotonous after a while. Well, next maybe... time in the game room. We're going to play something good. Well, no guarantees there. <laughs>